Hey, Joe Gill, back here again. Um, it's been a while, well, uh, it's been a while since I made it. This video was for, for spe specifically for um, you viewers out there. I now, I guess I've been doing this for a while, uh, mainly focused on, you know, international sex travel and sex in a sense, but if you notice with my some of my past videos, this, this content is kind of taking a turn. I really uh, don't have any other places to travel to or whatever, and kind of just sitting and getting tired and burned out, and it's getting tough uh, for me to travel. So, so I'm sort of stuck on what to talk about. <clears throat> so. This is just going to be a video on uh, asking you, uh, uh, any, of, uh, any of my viewers, I know I developed a, a, a little bit of a small following, but I, I kind of want your opinion, what, what you guys uh, want me to talk about, I'd like to hear me to talk about, um, if I may give some suggestions. Uh, there have been some things that I kind of wanted to talk about, but I just don't know if anybody wants to hear. Upon some of my other interests that you haven't known, like uh, I kind of wondered about talking about the paranormal a little bit. Uh, I have been a fan of, of a lot of the ghost ghost story ghost shows that are on. Uh, I was a big fan and, and been watching. Uh, for the past 10 years at uh, Zach Bagan's uh, Ghost Adventures, but I kind of stopped recently because they just talk about uh, demons and satanic, most of the shows out there, uh, stuff and all that, so I don't really watch. But I've, I've gone to some of the places that Zach has uh, uh, visited, and uh, I spent the night in about three different haunted hotel rooms and all that. Um, I can make a couple videos on that. Um, another thing I've been wanting to talk about, this is something that you, some, a lot of you might find shocking. I have actually been going to church. <laughs> Me of all people, right? Uh, not that I'm a big time Christian and all that. I've gone for the philosophical. That was more back when I was in California, but... I, yeah, you never know that with, you know, with the content, with me, with the subjects. But yeah, I've gone to church and uh, uh, I've learned a little bit about religion, but um, learned, learned that I can, uh, far from being the quote-unquote good Christian or whatever, but, uh, but um, it was kind of interesting that this pastor, the reason why I like him, he gives a philosophical aspect of it or whatever, but... Of course, I haven't gone because I moved away. I'm out of state, so, you know, and uh, I've watched some of his uh, sermons online, but, and yeah, getting to that, I've, I've kind of wanted to talk about religion, you know, do a video or two on religion about my, my opinions on it. Another reason is now because my father, uh, see, I grew up in a pretty non-religious family. Everybody in my family was pretty much agnostic or definitely non-practicing. But now, I have a brother. I have an. Uh, I have two half brothers, and one of my half brothers, who's, you know, he's really big into going to it. But of course, he's had a pretty. Uh, he's had a pretty. Uh, uh, Torrid life, or uh, what's the word? Um, torrential, or whatever life, or and all that. So, <clears throat> I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that, um, or I can talk about sex too. Uh, another video that I've been debating about over these past is talking about uh, some of the best sex that I've that I've ever had. I can't really narrow it down to one time or one person. I just have, um, I have a few sessions that, uh, <clears throat> um, um, a few sessions that stand out. Or I can reveal another, another deep dark secret. I'll show you. <clears throat>
inside these books I have written down every single girl well actually this book I've got every single girl that I'd ever slept with in order of time uh, see it says recorded female copulations every single girl in order in the exact order look at this just pages in order of time so every every female that I've literally penetrated is in this book and then I've recorded every single sex act I've done since the year 1992 uh, this is this is my dirty little secret right here that not a lot of people know about wait it goes all the way back here from the beginning wow I bank owned a lot there it is September 7th 1992 my first entry and then I switched sort of switched to these calendar books see this is my recent one and then look they all have years see 2019 2014 and all that I don't know I can do a video talking about that but um, yeah it has every recorded every single time in all of, in all of these books from September of 1992 I was 21 at the time I'm 48 now I have seriously from the time I was 21 to 48 every single time I I put my cock penis inside a woman it's it's been written down now uh, you're probably thinking well what did you do that for uh, well not to keep well I was sort of rating him for a while <laughs> being a and I thought that was kind of too chauvinistic and stuff like that so I just stopped doing that but mainly it was it, mainly it was just to keep a record just to keep track I mean, wouldn't you say that's a smart thing to do for somebody who's as slutty or promiscuous as I am? Keep a record in case any of these chicks try to come back and say, guess what, Joe, I'm pregnant. Really? How do you know it's mine? And then, because you know you go back nine months, and if I have a record, if I write down when I slept with her, and she tries to say she's pregnant, I go, how many months are you along? Oh, I'm six months or five months, and I look in the record, and it shows that I haven't boned her in like ten or in, 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 in over a year, or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Or if, in case if I ever caught a disease, someone, some chick comes back. Hey, Joe, I got AIDS, or Hey, Joe, I got, uh, and you gave it to me, or Hey, Joe, I got uh, chlamydia, or I got. Uh, um, I got syphilis or gonorrhea. Oh, really? When did you notice? Or when did you do that? You know? And then I've got a record. You know, just for stuff like that. Um, oh, shit, which reminds me. I got to put a couple entries in the puppy. Anyway, well, I just kind of did talk about it, so I don't know if I need to make a video of it now. But, uh, but yeah, that's been my dirty little secret. A couple of girls. Ugh. A couple of girls have known about it but yeah can you believe that I, I didn't realize how long I've been doing that that's that's like a well over 20 years um, wait 92 02 2012 yeah almost 30 years now 2022 will be 30 years that I've been I've been keeping a record of my of my sex life and shit um, anyway I can yeah I can s still talk about that and here's another thing that goes back to religion. Uh, um, I've always wanted to do this, tell the story in a church. Uh, I actually took a trip to heaven, you know, subconsciously. I had a dream that I actually con uh, crossed over and went to heaven. It's, it's, it's a little bit more detailed about that. And I've always wanted to stand up mainly at a church because I figure that's the appropriate place. But... I mean, that dream that I had was, God, well over 10 years ago. It was like 12 years ago. And the church that I was going to, 
won't, won't let me do it. And then when I went to my brother's church, I tried to ask my brother about telling my story. And he's like, well, tell me. And I thought, okay, I'll tell him. I told my dad, I told so many people about it. Um, I told so many people about it that, uh, you know, I always wanted to tell a large crowd of people, but in appropriate setting, like at a church during, during a mass. The one pastor that, that I was at the church, he said, well, you know, just tell it, maybe if you join, when you join one of our small groups here, you can tell it, you can tell it to the small group. And I thought, no. And I thought, well, screw that. I mean, I want to, you know, I want to tell it to uh, a big congregation. And this church has a lot of freaking people or whatever in Whittier. And then uh, I didn't even get a chance to tell my brother the damn story. He interrupts me and starts talking about evolution, the theory of evolution. I mean, um, he couldn't even sit back for 10, 15 minutes and listen, listening to, listen to a cliff note version. You know, now my brother, my brother who I'm talking about is, is Ken. I have two brothers, Ron and Ken, and Ken's the big religious guy. But yeah, he couldn't even sit down. It's funny, he can sit down and watch, watch my fucking YouTube videos, but he couldn't sit down for... T so I didn't even get a chance to tell him. So I figured the only way I'm going to tell this is if I make a video. So, you know, like or comment. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, that's why I'm making this. I, it's for you, the viewer. You know, who are some of my viewers. Uh, what, what you want me to talk about. Do you want me to make a video on my books, my sex books that I got up there, maybe elaborate more on it. I kind of just basically told you, I'm not sure how much there's to tell. Do you want me to talk about the best sex I had? You want me to talk about my trip to heaven, which honestly thinking I might just make a video of, about it anyway. Do you want me to talk more about religion? I've got a theory about it and part of it has to do with reincarnation something Christians never talk about or something Christians don't believe in. But I'll tell you why I can, I like to tell, share my theories on reincarnation and why I kind of fucking sort of tend to believe on it, believe in it and why I think reincarnation makes, makes fucking sense. Um, it's more of a Buddhist belief, you know, like Tibetan belief, but <clears throat> what else? Um, yeah, I can talk about that. I can talk more about my paranormal. The paranormal, my belief in, in, in the paranormal and in ghosts and stuff is kind of what le led to my thing of beliefs and uh, more getting more into religion and stuff like that. And I'm getting older now and I'm, you know, yeah, thinking about it, you know, a little bit concerned about that. But it kind of means that uh, my channel is going to take kind of a turn, a turn away from sex talk and stuff and I don't know if you the viewers want but I just don't I don't I don't have much more to talk about um, I'm sorry to tell you I'm, I have no I, I know I kept saying in the videos I really have no plans of any international or international sex excursions I'm kind of somewhat burned out I mean I'd rather just get laid here and get try to get laid at home you know or you know short terms or you know, back in California or whatever and all that. So anyway, uh, this video kind of was a longer bit, but definitely, that definitely, I don't normally encourage comments. Definitely leave a comment on what, what you would like. Uh, I'm really pushing for that on what you want me to talk about or what, what video to make. So this is a video on what videos what videos I can make. It's, it's, it's uh, up to you. What do you want to hear? What do you want to know about me? You know, what do you want me to talk about? All right. Leave your comments, definitely, and I will talk to you later uh, after a while. Okay? Bye.